Hello and welcome to your seventh C++ lesson. Uh, this one's on while loops. Okay, so in a program, a lot of the time, you're going to want to loop things for a certain amount of time. So this is basically one way of doing it. So you'll see on the screen I've got some code. This is just for a simple while loop that counts from one to four. So I'll just walk you through it. Uh, first of all, we don't need any extra includes, just IO stream, namespace standard, main, you know, all the usual stuff. And then we go int number is 1. And then this is the while loop bit. So you use while, which is a keyword. And then you open the brackets. And then your conditions. So number is less than 5. C out number. Then end the line. Then plus plus number. Now this is called incrementing. There's going to be a lesson on this later. Basically this just adds 1 to number. So... Just going through the loop again. Right, so number's one. Is number less than five? Yes, go in the loop. Output one. Add one to number. Is number still less than five? Yes, two is less than five. Output two. Add one to number. Is three less than five? Output... Oh, uh, yes it is. Output three. Add one to number. Is four less than five? Yes it is. Output four. Add one to number. Is 5 less than 5? No, it's not. System pause and then return 0. So if we just debug this, 1, 2, 3, 4, press any key to continue. And that is pretty much a while loop. And that's basically it. That's why this YouTube video is going to be so short. Because that is all there is to it. It's very simple. Um, just going around incrementing a bit more. If we want to increment it at the start, then it will output different results. So if we want to increment it before we output it, then you'll notice that it says 2, 3, 4, 5. Now this is basically because it's going to add one to the number before it outputs the number. So, you know, that's pretty simple. So, there's also, you know, post fix incrementing and all that, which you will learn about in the incrementing lesson. So, while loops one of the very easy ways of looping through numbers. Uh, what a lot of people do is another thing so you could say bool loop uh, equals true and then while loop you can do that because with bools it's basic or I think you can put functions in there as well um, if they return true or if they are true then it basically does it and if they're false it doesn't so we could say while loop see out hello. So it's gonna output um, hello forever basically. So if we just debug this, hello hello, and it's gonna keep doing that. So I'm just gonna close that. Um, but what we could do is we could say um, it's actually. Let's make our number variable come back again. So int number equals zero. And then while loop blah, 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 blah. if number is greater than five. In fact, we don't really need to do that. We can really shove it in the while loop thing. You don't need to do this, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So if number's greater than five, sorry, if number's less than five. Output hello. Else break. Now what break does is it basically breaks out of the loop. So we could say break, or we could say uh, we could say loop equals false. But break's the better way to do it. So if we do this now, hello 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 hello, and then it breaks out of the loop. Press any key to continue. So, break can be pretty useful when using while loops. Um, and while loops overall are very useful. Now, there's something called a for loop, which is used a bit um, a bit more than a while loop, and it's slightly easier, um, meaning it's quicker to use, and uses less text, but we're going to do that in a different lesson. While loops, um, have a play around with them. They're great fun. You can do all sorts with them. You know, while this is this, do this. And basically, there's unlimited possibilities of what you can do. So, 
Go now, have a play around with it. You see out and see in maybe. And um, have a nice day at the end of this lesson.